Gaben! No, you f are not called Gaben, you f What? Hello there, great person, and welcome back to Let's Watch Ferieren, a blind. Today we are at episode 15. It's called Smells Like Trouble and Make a Double. No, it's just called Smells Like Trouble and that was a bad joke. But, uh, yeah, we are, we are getting closer, closer to the north. Um, we should arrive at Tour one day, I think. I think Tour is a very big landmark thing. Um, oh no, and we also want to go to Oysast, I think. So let's see where we end up uh, soon. And uh, as always, consider liking, subscribing, and uh, commenting, and uh, ringing the bell. Um, also, check out my other reactions uh, if you're interested in other shows, like currently doing Attack on Titan. I did One Piece live action and. Uh, I do, I read the Wheel of Time on the channel, only a live read through, so to speak, that there exi that exists on YouTube, I think. Anyway, let's get into the episode. Enough self-promotion. Have some fun. Let's go. And I'm still sad because I just watched the last episode. And yeah, let's see if this one will make me feel better. Doch ich frag, ich frag mich, wer wir sind. Twenty-nine years after the death of Himmel the Hero, in the Laub Hills, located in the northern lands. Also, by the way, I know why it says death of Himmel the Hero. And, uh, yeah, I know why they say it like that, by the way. It's gonna blow your mind, perhaps, if you haven't thought about it. Um, yeah, Laub means, uh, like, it's the leaves on the ground. I think I said that as well in the first episode reaction, but it's like, it's like this, this leaf cover on the ground in autumn or in fall, whatever. Wherever you are from, British or American or Australia. But yeah, it's it's the things covering the ground in uh, in autumn. I think it's very beautiful, though also a bit sad because yeah, leaves are withering away. But they're colorful. Yeah, how long? Three years? No, four. Yeah. Yeah, a year for, about a year for Stark. Yeah, and what does the party lack? A thief? <laughs> <laughs> she still is falling for me, <laughs> That's so dumb, I love it. Oh, come on. She look at like I was just sitting there and like she's just examining it out of curiosity because apparently the mimics don't do anything. It's just a troll. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes it bites you. <laughs> of course, we need an older lady. <laughs> yeah, she is. She just doesn't look like it. Oh, it's an older lady. How convenient that this episode is called Smells Like Trouble, so she might be evil. Might be a demon. Oh no, everyone's dead. Okay. Everyone's dead. So it smells like trouble, and it's not the old lady. We will get. Oh, they're breathing. Oh, oh. Thank God. At least the cows aren't eating them. I don't think they would, but... <laughs> don't make me angry, Miss Frieden. We can't just leave them here. Ooh, a curse, yeah. But she can dispel stuff, can't she? Ah, oh, I see. Oh, so it is like real magic that's not yet science, so to speak. And it's dangerous. Interesting. But can yours? Yeah, that's why I think, yeah. Oh, okay, or the, the priests, yeah. But how? I thought they used the same principles. Yeah, how is that? Interesting. Ah, 
Interesting. Yeah, I uh, did Flamme create that? Probably not. Because she's linked with their belief, I think, in some way. But I don't know. Blessing of the goddess. I wonder what that is. Oh, the curse is still there. That's not good. Oh, he needs to do a ritual. Interesting. Let's see what monster it's gonna be. Yeah, you can just nuke the monster, I think. Oh, Stark's already asleep. Brilliant. Oh, that's not good. Oh, at least they take him with them and levitate them, uh, him around. Oh, Fen is also dozing off. That's not good. Yeah, you better hurry with that fucking monster. Oh, she's getting tired as well. That's not... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, five seconds will be enough with her. Let's not kid ourselves. So what is it? Oh, he has battle magic. Interesting. Oh, it's a giant mutated vile plume. Oh, wow, that's not good. And it can, like, uh, use vine whip. Oh, it must have merged with some th sleep stuff. So it's probably called a laub because of the flower and people sleeping on the ground like leaves? I don't know. Like the region, the village. Awesome. Priest battle, let's go. Oh, wow. He can actually shoot holy spears. That's pretty badass. Wow, that's pretty overpowered, that flower. But I kind of like that he's got offensive stuff as well. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Oh, I like that. N nice. Earlier situation. Yeah, that as well. Interesting that he's thinking of that. But yeah, he knows what Haito would think, perhaps. So. Oh, interesting. Yeah, they do, but perhaps only on a subconscious level. <laughs> and she probably did, yeah. Yeah, Frieren did. I'm pretty, pretty sure Frieren did defeat him. Yeah, and Haita lives him in, in him as well here, I like that. Yeah, she can just like rupture the ground or something. She doesn't have to shoot it. Oh, what did she do? Where did she shoot it? Boomerang? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's about what I expected. <laughs> Get fucked, you shit at. She already knew that's so cool. That was awesome. <laughs> Is that the older woman he looks for? <laughs> they did it. I think they did it. <laughs> Sorry, I think that was getting crap past Raider. He definitely did a deed. I like that Zion proved himself here. <laughs> and she does it again. That's so cool. Did she do it to Hyder as well? It would be so funny. I think she did. 
Orik. Ooh, that's cool. Nine, 29 years after the defeat of him of the hero at the fortress of Forik, located in the northern lands. Forik means uh, um, um, before, but as in a remnant. And it means also uh, like in front. So it might be one of the uh, like final fortresses against the lands of the demon king. Yeah, the relay point to Oysast. Yeah, Forig and then Oysast. Yeah, so it is like the last bastion before the rim of the empire, so to speak, or whatever they are in. Yeah, so you have to work now. Who are you, mate? <laughs> What's he doing? What is this about? Yeah, what's going on? That's so weird. That's a nice mansion. It's not a mansion, it's a castle, I think. It's more like a castle, but I like it. It's cool. <laughs> Lord Orden. Yeah, Lord Orden is... Uh, what is Orden in English? It's these little things you get when you were like in battle, like this, these insignia you get, like, and you have them here, like these um, order. Yeah, I think it's called an order, like an order. Yeah, it's it's like this thing you stick on your uh, 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 or on your uniform when you did a good thing, like uh, like a medal. No, it's not a medal. Like, like it's something like you know what I mean. I hope uh, I will probably put it somewhere here what it means or. I will explain it in the explanation video. It may also mean uh, like order in like Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, like that order, that might also mean an order. So he might be the leader of an order of knights. Oh, it's one of the three great families. The other probably being Granat. Um, she just said she knew your father and she's an elf, like put two and two together, mate. <laughs> oh my god, she's gonna kick him or something. <laughs> oh yeah, the payment stuff. Of course they, yeah. <laughs> yeah, at least the remote. In the clear region, clear means clover. clover. Oh, interesting. You might be related. And they've got the same hair color. Yeah, that fits. Viet! Oh, I've made a joke in episode 2 about the innkeeper who was called Viet's innkeeper. Or it uh, might mean host. Like the host. L like with parasites, they have a host and that also means Viet. Oh, he wants a double, I think. Oh, did he die? Oh. Awkward. Like that turned sideways. Yeah, all the sons dying. The son of the other guy died as well in a battle against demon. Sons dying, future in danger, like... Their, their, their lineage in danger, so to speak. Interesting, yeah. That's harsh. At least he killed the commander. Garbage! No, you fucking are not called garbage, you fucked What? Ah! <laughs> garbage means fork, like knife and fork. Or uh, like the fork on the road, I guess. I mean, because he's a he's a butler. He's bringing the the the, uh, the knives and the spoons and the forks. That's why he's called Gabel, perhaps. Or perhaps he uses a fork like in battle. I don't know. Ah, oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, to boost the confidence. Can't Frieren just go there and and whatever demons there are? Probably not. 10 Strahl gold coins. Uh, Strahl is again Ray, so it means it's probably the currency of the capital. 
And I think the capital is also their religious capital because Haita was like, at least from there when he went to um, Zion's uh, uh, village. So it might, it is probably where like their, their version of a pope is as well. So yeah. Throw in a grimoire. Oh great, she gets a grimoire. Oh yeah, it fits. That's cool. This is sad. I mean, well. Oh no, Garvel, will you be able to do that? <laughs> Poor guy. And they're just there, and he's of course doing that, and they're of course doing that. Oh, poor Stark. You have to be strong, Stark. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> it doesn't suit you, yeah, of course. Oh, she really liked that. That's cool. <laughs> that must be so weird. Yeah. Interesting, he does. Yeah, and Stark can also fight if push comes to shove, which is also a plus. Interesting, yeah, his son wanted it. It's what he wanted, okay. I like that he honors his son's wishes. Normally it's the other way around, the son honors the uh, father's wishes. <laughs> Mood! <laughs> that means courage. He will be courageous, I guess. Oh, he sees him in him. Oh. I hope he talks to him. He's good with children as well. But uh, Stark can also probably use that already. Perhaps Eisen taught him before. I don't know though. Oh, that's so, so bad. He teaches him and not his son here. Oh, no. But he knows. Oh, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Oh, that's so shitty. Oh. Oh, he probably wishes he would have a father like this. And that's my, he needs this as well a bit. Like he has a father, I know they pretend, but there is something there as well where he sees what it would be to have a father like that. I wonder if his father thought the same of like he might have just misunderstood. Yeah. Oh, he does. <laughs> okay, I like that. I like that. I like that twist. That was cool. That like I didn't expect it. They built that up really well. That scene. Oh no! Fan has to go with him, perhaps. <laughs> Good luck. I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, they are really pushing these two together. I like that though. Oh, that must hurt. Corsets must hurt so much. Can't she just read all the grimoires in the library and like memorize them? Is he gonna help her? I don't know. Oh, we already. Oh, three months have passed. Great. <laughs> now he's telling her. That's so funny. Oh, I like that. I like it. I see what they do there. She has to do it because she ridiculed him. Because she, he's like, it was played for a joke, but he is doing it for them. Like, he could say no, but he was like, yeah, man. I'm in your party, you you depend on me here, I will do it for you. Are you gonna dance now? Yeah, that's true. And they will all be like, who is this beauty? Oh, she is... <laughs> she doesn't uh, want to look at him, it's so cute. Oh, uh, now she does. That's so cool. What a wholesome th scene as well. I think they suit each other very well. Yeah, and they're both happy here. 
And look at this 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 asshole on the left. Like he's not an asshole. I just sometimes call random dudes that, but uh, like not in real life. <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah, he looks like <laughs> I'd smash that. I think. Which is of course like no fan is already over eighteen. I think she should be. Uh... Yes, she she should be. Yes, she is eighteen now. See. Ooh, well, this reminds me a lot of like uh, Vienna, like like what I would imagine like these like palace things would have gone like in uh, the 18th century or 17th century with like violins and perhaps the composers there as well. Oh, there's a whatever it's called cello. I don't know if it's called that in English as well. I like that they take their time with it. And yeah, they, those two still are like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> how happy she is oh he seems to be a bit disappointed whatever oh he blames himself why is he called Viet though, though because he was like a host because he would have hosted it I mean if Stag is Viet here so to speak, he should have hosted that uh, sorry array or whatever it was called I don't know yeah you've completed the job also, Lord Orden, so he gave his son like mood, so to speak, an Orden as well by like praising him in a way. What's going on here? Oh, did he feel that? Yeah, he can't. He probably wishes he would. Wow, he was was he about to offer that? That would have been so weird. Yeah, he's longing for his son and he's regretting it as well. He would love to pretend that it's his son. But it wouldn't be the same. Wouldn't be the same, of course not. Yeah. Yeah, he understood as well. Yeah, they are all dead. Oh no. Oh, that sucks so badly. Why would you do that? Like, I know some people have a temperament, but I always felt that when I was young, like that I would get to, into an argument with my parents or someone I really hold, held dear to my heart. And like, like they would have an accident or something or I would and that was the last I, I saw of them ever that's also why I don't know for me it is always important when I have a very heavy argument or an argument with a loved one and a fallout I always try to make sure that when we go to sleep it will be talked about at least a bit and and like um there, that, that there's some distance and we will have said, yeah, it was just an argument. We still love each other. But these things like in arguments, sometimes you say things that you should never say. And I don't know if it helps if you really, really focus on it sometimes. Sometimes, like I've learned that several years ago, I think like not from experience, but I someone said it to me and I thought about it and I agreed. There are things you shouldn't say in an argument, like, um, um, yeah, like let's take uh, 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 in One Piece, Nami uh, in the like in the live action. Uh, at least it was. I don't know if it was in the anime. Nami said to her mother, uh, her adopted mother, "You're not my mother. It's not something you ever say." Like, um, I don't know. You know, that's like or, or this one. I don't want to see you ever again. Like, these things are things you don't say. And I know people get angry in arguments, and I do as well. I get really angry. And I might say fuck you or something in an argument to someone, but I never really, really say something that is like, like, um, um, irreversible, so to speak. Because once spoken, uh, <laughs> By the way, uh, the 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 people who uh, sang the song I have in the intro of the channel, like the videos, like you know the little bit, and they all said another song. Um, 
where there was a line and I love that band a lot. They just made five or six songs that were, were a German band. And there was a line in one of the songs which is basically translated, one word said too much, uh, an anger, uh, a step taken too far, and now it's gone. Uh, 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 and it's the past now, which is harrowing and sad. And I listened to that when I was a boy a lot. And that is like, be careful. Like, like sometimes what I sometimes do if I'm in an argument with someone, I will go, like we have the argument and I will go away when I'm like, okay, this is getting to a point where it might be ugly because you don't mean these things. And like, he didn't mean it, you know, but you might say it. And it is sad and the other person will never really truly be certain that it was not a bit of truth in there. Um, so this this person here, uh, uh, like like the Orden didn't didn't mean it, but like could could his son have known? And perhaps even if his son had known, Orden will always think might he have taken it as truth. And uh, yeah, so what I do is I I like if I know there is a moment where I become like emotional and not thinking straight and and being unfair like. You can like I can at least be an artist. I can start to be unfair, and I I I think I notice most of them. I would leave. I would think to myself, and sometimes I will argue with an imaginary person. I will tell that imaginary person all the stuff I wanted to say, and I will be like, "Yeah, it's out there." And I will imagine what would happen, and then I will imagine, yeah, it would be over and stuff, perhaps uh, uh, with like the relationship or the 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 um, um, the friendship or whatever. Like it would be over. I will imagine that and then like I, I let this version of myself I imagine do the fucking mistakes and do the shouting and, and the anger and these statements and uh, yeah because that's like you never know what's in people and, and they might tell you something really really like this like I, like I don't want to see your face again and a part of them might even mean it like yeah yeah, in this one, a uh, new horror story, I don't know if it's out yet, wasn't out in episode 7, I'm sorry, and there is also, it deals with that a bit because people start to change because of something um, that's happening to their town, and like, there are these things in them, like, these things, uh, like, 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 hey, I, I didn't really, I never really like this part about you, and because something is happening to the town, this horror, like, that, like, starts to creep into them and, like, changes them into horrid people, and they, like, the town gets really corrupt, so uh, I think I guess that was also me dealing with that a bit for myself. But anyway, yeah, see, he didn't mean, of course he didn't, but his son will never know as well. And he will never know if his son thought it was the truth. Yeah, it's better that way. It would eat them up. Aww. I actually, I don't know. I want your opinion on this. Do you do you want Eisen to die and him meeting Eisen and Aureole? It would fit the theme a lot. Like it would fit um, Frieren seeing her whole party in Aureole and it would fit um, him seeing someone in Aureole because I assume Sein, um, uh, Fern and uh, Frieren will meet someone in Aureole. He might meet... Or he might meet his father as well, and he will go back to Eisen and tell him the stories. I think I would like that more. I, I think I would love to for him to meet his father and brother and talk to them in Aureole. Because I, I don't want Eisen to die. I don't. So I really hope that he will be the one who comes back, tells the story, and then it spreads and everyone will know it. The new hero's journey story. Awesome. Oh, she took half a day for the grimoires, okay. Is he sleeping, standing? Something's gonna happen in the north here with this demon stuff, it's teased. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. <laughs> that's so beautiful, yeah. Oh, she looks at them and she sees... Yeah. Which one did she choose? What? Uh, why was there no ending? Okay, next episode starting. I will record it right now as well. Because I just can't wait.
but you won't see that right now because I will of course now say thanks for watching as always yeah and yeah by the way go check out the horror story if it's out uh if it's not out I will let you know on the channel as well of course and um yeah because it deals a lot with some of the stuff I've talked about as well I, I don't know if you like my writing style I do my best but I think that one's really good anyway um um Let's see what the season finale, the call finale is. Will it be a banger or will it be wholesome or sad or every uh, all of those? But uh, long-lived friends is already something that's potentially devastating. And we will just see what uh, we learn there. But not now. Um, yeah, I hope you have a great day. As always, take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye. Also, if you want to support my horror content, Check out volume 1 of my horror series called Remnants of the Old Truth, which is available for free as an audiobook on Vidith 22s horror channel. Link is pinned in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and take care.